Hi everybody, this is Zombie, and welcome to another one of my Dungeon Boss videos. I'm back on Boss Island with another Legendary Dungeon run on Arcane Circle. So this time it's an auto run, which is pretty cool. Poves in Level Cap put me onto this one. It's uh, a team that he used with Ice Bloom, but what I've done is swapped out her for Valkin because I've got him heavily ruined up thanks to PvP Seasons. As I said in the video that I did for Yasmin's Epic, we have only just scratched the surface on her usefulness. But this video here, we're going a little bit deeper onto that. Also, I've got an auto run team for Possessed Tomb, which is also centered around Yasmin, which one of the boys in Level Capped called Crabola put me onto last night. Uh, it's super fast and reliable, but I'm going to save that for the next time we get the dungeon on the rotation. Firstly, let me make clear that this auto run is for the higher end of the player spectrum. You will need Yasmin's Epic to be fairly high level, so it triggers often, as she needs to clear out those debuffs, like the burning one that you've seen on the video here. With that said, you can probably run this team manual and get to use all of those cool abilities that these heroes have and make a good job of it, though. The team going through this is fairly slow, but the advantage of auto run, of course, is that you just press go and then go make yourself a nice cup of tea or coffee. So this one's not about speed, unfortunately, but it is reliable. For team member alternatives, first off you've got Ice Bloom, just as Pose did, so when her epic triggers it makes her invulnerable. You've also got Yorick, because when his triggers he will heal himself. And then you've also got Sir William, who gives a 15% buff to defence for all blue allies on the same team. On to some runes then. First up, Igarok. Let's take a look. We've got a Precision in that slot. We've got a Bulwark, Superior Power, um, a Greater Bulwark, and also another Superior Power. So, although um, Igarok is a, supposedly a tank, he's still quite squishy, I found, in the past. So I've had to put these two uh, defensives on him. I will need to improve that one at some point to make him better, but it's not too bad. It's got Burning Skin on there. Stats-wise, we are looking at that. Oh, there we go. And his epic is, of course, maximum. Um, next up, we've got Healing Queen Yasmin. So she's all about the defense from what I've built on her in the past because I used to run her on Lava Academy. So we've got two Vampirics, two Bulwark, and I um, threw that one on there because I made it a while ago, and that's all I've got left at the moment. Again, something I'd like to improve, like to improve if I could. Stats-wise, there she is. And Epic is at max. Scrolling down to Valkin. So this is the thing that you might struggle to replicate. I don't. Although these two bulwarks here, I, I, I kept them anyway when I rolled them because I saw the um, two defense and then also the fire. And this one's got health on it. But because they've got light resist and the fire, they're not great. But they're okay. So you could easily replicate that with greater bulwarks instead and another bulwark on him there. So I've only got him this defended up because of PvP seasons, as I mentioned. You guys might be able to get away with a couple of bulwarks there and the rest something else, maybe a vampiric for some healing maybe or uh, another power rune or some such. But I've got two power, one there and one there. Again, we're not amazing stats on it. That one's not particularly good. Need to get that one replaced. Stats-wise... You're looking at that. And then finally, we want Grognog. And he is ruined, as you may well have seen before in my other videos. So we've got a Bulwark, another Bulwark, Power Rune, very nice Precision Rune, and a Vampiric. And as for stats, you're looking at that. So I hope that you guys will find this useful. Let me know how you get on and whether you needed to do it auto or manual. And uh, I'll see you next time. That's all for now, guys. Please do leave comments, questions or suggestions in the comments section below. I'll always try to answer. Remember to check out the rest of my YouTube channel for more Dungeon Boss videos or search Zombie Dungeon Boss in Google or YouTube for more. Don't forget to subscribe, like and share. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.